what's up what's good what, what's up what's good what's going on family so let's jump in real quick and get a cosmic insight check in see what's up with that energy and then we'll dive in um this is going to be for your sagittarius sun moon rising north node venus as well as that ninth house very particular messages here on the Manjula Awakening for your ninth house. But even with that being said, guys, let's just take what resonates and bless someone else with the rest. All right, Spirit, what's going on with the cosmic creations? All right, family, let's get into it. What's going on with what's going on for the Sagittarian Ninth House Collective here? So we have something to do with health issues, with a water a water sign could be experiencing some sort of health issues. Let's see what's going on for the Sagittarian Ninth House Collective. Ooh, the, a water sign could have some sort of health issue. Confession. Um, this person could confess that someone else got in the middle. Someone else is trying to sabotage this, or a water sign could be trying to sabotage you. I don't know. What is this, Spirit? What's going on? We have pets and Mercury and retrograde. What? This person could have a pet. Maybe you would know who I'm talking about there. Um... Someone's pet could be experiencing some sort of health issues. Lord, oh, what have we tapped into? All right, see, show me what I'm not seeing, Spirit. Show me what. Show me what I need to see. What's going on with health, confession, and pets? Twin flame, my goodness. Karmic ties. Um, there could be some sort of intense connection here, divine connection, divine counterpart. Um, someone could have turned their back on this situation because they got betrayed and backstabbed. Ooh, divine masculine rejected. So the divine masculine could have rejected this connection due to some sort of health issue. And now like but this it looks like that this person is is now thinking twice about it and now it looks like this person is fucked up over you and losing sleep under a lot of pressure. This person is trying to keep themselves busy. There's some sort of shocking news that makes this person feel trapped to a situation where there was no strings attached, but there's some sort of evidence there. This person is going to be confessing some feelings, honey. They're, they're going to be confessing this love, like where this love-hate energy comes from. Like why things, ah. There's a love-hate with a family dynamic. A love-hate with a family dynamic. Complicated feelings as it pertains to a family dynamic. But there, it looks like somebody's closing out that cycle. Like, this person needs to do some healing, but this person does appear to look like that they, like, it does look like that they're seeing true feelings for you. Wow. I did not expect this. Is there anything else? One, two, three, four, five. Ooh, a workplace affair could have been, oof. A workplace affair could have come back to bite them in the ass. Now they're making, trying to, like, somebody's wishing upon a star. That's what I'm feeling here. All 
All right, Sagittarius, let's jump in and see with the tarot. Guys, if at any point in time during this message you feel like that it is yours or you are following along, resonating, we would absolutely appreciate that thumbs up down below. Help circulate us into the YouTube algorithm, but most importantly, just leave your girl some feedback. It is appreciated. Um, all right, Spirit, show me, show me, show me the situation here. Like, show me how this is. Ooh, the Four of Pentacles. Ooh, my goodness. Somebody, an ex, someone from your past, somebody that rejected you is now jealous. Someone is jealous. Someone is um, having a hard time letting you go. Okay, this person is now like this. Uh, jealousy is definitely jealousy is definitely provoking this person for sure. This person is definitely rebelling out of some sort of jealousy. Mm, yeah, damn. Here goes the Queen of Wands in the reverse. What do I always tell you? That this one right here is jealous and she's a bully. When you hurt the Queen of Wands, baby, by the time she get done with that ass, she'll be like, why the fuck did I even fool with this one, honey? For real. That Queen of Wands in the reverse is nobody to play with. So it looks like that someone is definitely rebelling, doing something out of jealousy here. Show me more on the four of pentacles in the reverse. But once again, this is definitely someone that has rejected you. Could have been some sort of third party situation. Absolutely. Um, I feel like that this part. Yeah, baby, this person is now recognizing what this person is understanding the intensity of this connection that they once rejected. OK, now this person is wanting to step into some sort of divine masculine energy but it's almost as if this person is recognizing how abundant they are in your presence okay and whether they they were financially abundant in your presence or the uh, they were they were able to exercise their masculinity and trueness they didn't have to disguise themselves. That's very abundant energy. Show me more on this Four of Pentacles energy. Thank you, Spirit. Yeah. Bye-bye. This person is jealous and feeling real abandoned. This person is. You have walked away from the, how this is showing up. You walked away from this situation. And um, this person... That, I'm not going to say that it was easy to walk away from you. But you, this, that, yeah, the the king of uh, the knight of pentacles in the reverse. Mm -mm, this person is they're like this person. They're definitely not trying to let this go, but this person isn't like whatever they're doing right now. I do feel like that it is out of like they're rebelling out of jealousy here. Why is this showing up for Sagittarius spirit? Why is this showing up for Sagittarius? Why is this showing up in Sagittarius' life at this time? The Three of Swords in the reverse. The Knight of Wands in the reverse. Um, why this is showing up is because you are being given an opportunity to mend your heart. Okay? This person, whatever this person is doing right now is out of jealousy. Because they do see that you you moving forward. They see that with the Eight of Cups. They see that without a doubt. However, that's their intentions. The intentions of the divine is for you to close this out gracefully. This is your closure. This is your closure. And most importantly, this is your closure to the resentment, to the, to the anger, to the, to the pain and the sorrow. This is closing out that cycle. That's why this is coming around. Not for you to sit in the bitterness and have a bitter response. Show me more on the three of swords in the reverse. You're de this is definitely something that energetically you are ready to let go of. You're not strong. It's like you, and so you don't understand why this still comes up in your reading. And that's because you're still holding on to the resentment and the sorrow that this situation has caused you. There's a lack of forgiveness. It keeps you codependent. It keeps you codependent. All 
also for some of you all this is flat out saying that there is an opportunity yes confirmation this is an opportunity for someone to overcome some sort of bad investment so if you made some sort of bad investment why this is showing up now is because there is an opportunity for you to let that go surrender that because there's an opportunity for you to, like there's a good investment that is showing up for you in this present moment but it, i'm gonna tell you something somebody has got to understand that what what is keeping you chained to this situation is that what's happened is done there's no going back there's no going back so whatever resentment and residuals that are still there it's one of those things like if you choose to hold on to that, that's a your choice thing. But even in the divine's eyes, whatever you hold, like at this point, holding on to it isn't making their consequences any worse. It's only making you a part of the consequence. That's all it's doing. It's making you a part of the consequence. It's not making their consequence worse. So there is the opportunity to release and heal that bad investment. Some of y'all, this person could make some sort of confession and could also offer something. If you and this person kind of invested in something together and it went sideways, it does look like that there is an opportunity to recover that. To recover some debt. All right, Spirit, let's see. What is Sagittarius' advice to navigate this situation here? Fam, if at any point in time you are resonating with this reading, we would absolutely appreciate that thumbs up down below. It is a very much appreciated energetic exchange between you and I. It lets me know that I'm hitting home for you. All right, so we have the Queen of Swords here is the best way through this to cut away things that are no longer serving you. Six of Pentacles. Um, if y'all not a part of the members, I am literally recording this message directly after the members live. And it seems like that they could benefit one another. Six of Pentacles here at the bottom of the deck. There is universal balance that is in your favor in, in your favor at this situation. But you must be truthful and honest in this situation. And really surrender and let go of what it is that you may be holding on to. Um, this is definitely an opportunity to let go of the low vibrational energy that keeps you chained to this situation here. This is someone that um, has rejected you. Um, this is someone that I feel like that you have felt like that the in, the connection was so intense that that was possibly your twin flame. Um, but there is some sort of reward that is coming in for you. But because you're struggling to achieve the eight of pentacles energy, then I'm going to say nine of pentacles because it's here in this reading. Because you're struggling to achieve that nine of pentacles energy. Um, so... Because there's been a, a, an inability to achieve your independence from the, the pain and the sorrow that was caused by the rejection of this divine masculine, you've not really been, like you've been unable to achieve and, and, and obtain your reward, which is something more fulfilling. Okay, what is on the other side of this? What is on the other side of this? What is on the other side of this spirit? Well, before I ask what's on the other side, tell me what's the outcome of this confession, please. What is the outcome for Sagittarius and this person with this confession? The Four of Cups. Miss, a missed opportunity. Like, what, what's the outcome of this? Is this just recognizing? I, I don't feel like that it moves forward. I don't feel like that this confession brings forward. Move, yeah, hell no. Even the Knight of Wands is in the reverse. But the Four of Cups here speaks about stagnation, okay? I definitely feel like that there's... Um, some a missed opportunity here in this situation. Things may not go as expected. And so while someone may be making some sort of confession, it looks like that this person may also 
have some sort of impulsive blow up possibly. Show me a little bit more into the Four of Cups, please. What The likely outcome of this confession is the Four of Cups, Spirit. Can you show me why? Show me what's going on. Wow. Because there is conflict, um, argumentative behavior. Um, there could be some sort of, un, like, um, this card is saying discrimination, and that's where spirit is drawing me into. But I feel like that the discrimination that is happening is people aren't willing to see some somebody's got their mindset on like they they're making a confession. They have their mindset on what the outcome of that confession should be, and someone feels like that they can be the judge, jury, and the executor of whatever this confession is. There's definitely. This is definitely coming off as a missed opportunity because I do see that that argumentative arguments and stagnation is going to pop up um, because communication, it's a lack of being willing to see everyone's perspective here. But this is definitely a confession from someone that rejected you in the past. It's coming in suddenly as well. How does Sagittarius show up in this argument that is um, this conflict? The, yeah, the fool and the reverse. Um, how you show up in that? Um, if I'm being honest with you, um, this is saying lack of conflict and I mean lack of experience, and that's why I keep looking at. So it's like lack of experience. It's like I'm really getting that some sort of naivety, some sort of immaturity could be getting the best of you in this argument. Okay, I'm not going to lie. I am seeing that some sort of immature thinking mindset could be ignorance may lead to folly. So I definitely see that that could play into how you show up in this argument. Most importantly, I do feel like that there is maybe some inability to hear the other person out. That may play into this becoming argumentative and things just not going. This card, the Ace of Swords in the reverse, it says unimaginative. And in the members live imagine was at the bottom of the deck and we had to speak on it in order to get the message out so i definitely feel like that there is a need to really change one's perspective here in this situation yeah this is definitely a missed opportunity and i feel like that sagittarius is like sagittarius is going to just be like yeah nah this is this ain't mm -mm, this ain't it and i feel like that sag is going to uh, call back their energy from this I don't feel like that it's going to make Sagittarius happy I do feel like that it's going to be very conflicting energy for you which with that being said that tells me that at some point in time either you're going to have limerence over this connection or you're going to return back to this connection because there has to be a high vibrational closing out of this cycle in order to actually be able to move forward and this person's energy not linger in you in your energy anymore so where is all of this headed for my Sagittarian ninth house collective spirit where is all of this headed the page of pentacles the page of pentacles to the three of cups so I definitely feel like that there is going to be the arrival of some sort of good news the arrival of some sort of news Um, where this is headed is you're going to be able to focus more on your material endeavors, some sort of new venture. I definitely feel like that you're escaping. It's like you're putting an end to some sort of mental fear, mental illusion, mental anxiety as it pertains to but what does it look like without this energy? You'll figure it out, Sag. 
Yeah, you'll figure it out. Your desires will come true. But I definitely see that you're being given an opportunity to release the sorrows that hold you to this situation to do some internal forgiveness here there's some sort of confession that's coming in if you allow yourself to be receptive and not so naive to the response reactive to the response then i feel like that you get the closure that you need in order to actually break free from someone that you have given the title divine masculine twin flame to or that you've just perceived yourself to have a really strong karmic attachment with this person all right spirit give me uh the closing message here for my lovely sagittarian ninth house collective Overcoming obstacles. Overcoming obstacles. Get back on your feet. Gain strength from difficult situations. You are overcoming this. You are getting back on your feet. So there's a need to like you gotta release the heavy energy. Okay. You're 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 get, being put in position to reestablish your stability and to do what feels good, to go after your passions. Don't be afraid to fail. Follow what makes your heart happy. There is a need to declutter. Let go of some old items. Create space. Create a sacred space for yourself. Okay. Create space for something new here. Yeah. Let me go ahead and do this real quick. And then I'm going to close this out. I ain't got long winded. All right, Spirit. What's the um, message here to close this out? Wow. Wow. It's time to really decide what it is that you're wanting from this connection. It is a past life connection here. Um, I feel like that you and this person, if this is a real true flame, this confession will allow for some sort of new beginning to happen, but it does require it. I do see that there is going to be some sort of separation and this is separation from the divine so that so that whoever's viewing this reading can focus on some sort of new venture the pentacle this is something learning this is a craftsmanship so let's just say that somebody wants to be a tarot reader somebody is needing to go into some level of solitude in order to really tap in and perfect one's um intuition learn about the learn what the tarot cards mean to you learn how like what does it say to you and in order to receive that some of y'all are saying spirit is saying i'm gonna need to, I'm, i am spirit the divine is putting distance in between you and whatever it is that you socialize with the most in an effort to tune you into your intuition or whatever it is that you're learning okay so if there is an opportunity for another chance here in this relationship where there was rejection, it is only after you page of pentacles, after you learn something. Okay. I love you guys. I hope that this message was able to offer you some guidance on your journey. If it does, we would absolutely appreciate that thumbs up down below. Peace, love, and light.